Hi, it's Barry Rancher Laporte again. Today I'm talking with the presenter. This is Rita Goykovich. Did I say it right? Oh, good. good. <laughs> so tell us what you're talking to the guests about this week. Um, the connection between physics, some research in quantum physics that has been done at the beginning of the 20th century, and um, how it supports psychic abilities. Right. So I'm sure the guests, consciousness. guests are very interested in that, right? Yes. The psychic ability of things. So tell me, um, when did you first notice that you might have, mm -hmm. or be different, or have some different abilities? It was, yeah, it was always psychic. It's, it's really, for me, it was a matter of, there was a time in which I found out that not everyone what was. Mm -hmm. That was the big... Um, Revelation, but all along in my childhood, I had precognitive dreams, and um, I could just see things that other people couldn't see. Now, when you say precognitive dream, dreams. that means you would see something before it would happen. Yeah, I would have dreams about things that would happen afterwards. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and so, and how did you notice that? Find out that other people didn't have those same things. Well, um, that happened like really, actually, pretty late in life kind of embarrassing to say, but um, let's see, I think uh, what happened was that I was talking, I think I started talking to people mm -hmm. more about my own inner experiences, and people were saying, like, you can't expect everyone to do that, and that's right. kind of how I came out, and um, I think that's sort of how it happened. So you think it's something, it slowly, it, like something you were born with? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely yeah. born yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. So tell me, um, how, how do you relate science? I know you have a PhD, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, and tell me how you relate science kind of to what you're... Yeah, that's, you know, um, um, the piece of physics that puzzles the physicist is the fact that subatomic particles, even at a distance, can communicate instantaneously. Right. Whereas, Supposedly, nothing can go uh, faster than the speed of light. Mm -hmm. So, how are the subatomic particles communicating? So, this suggests, basically, suggests another reality, and part of that reality, this is, you know, this is what's speculated, mm -hmm. and part of that reality is that we're all basically, and everything is basically connected. All is one. All fields of relationship, and. When you think about it that way, it means that uh, when a person is psychic, they're just able to pick up something that's already there. It's not um, happening somewhere else. It's all one at the same time. So you're more, yeah. perhaps you're just more in tune to that level. Yeah, exactly. So it's sort of like tuning into a, a certain station and being able to pick up um, what's happening at that frequency. Whereas in our daily, in our daily uh, way of doing things, we just relate to the physical world, we relate to each other, we don't alter our consciousness, um, if, you know, for, unless, if, we, we don't just generally don't do it, you know. So, so now, so you do readings for people, or mm -hmm. is that what you do? So when people come to you, and yes. now is it, if, if like say I came to you, and Another person came to you, another person came to you. Would you be able to see something for each person, or is it like case by case, or is okay. different people have different yeah. energy fields? How does that work? Um, basically, you know, my readings are about being able to see the person's light, the person's mm -hmm. um, soul, if you want to, their higher self, whatever, mm -hmm. however you want to call that. And generally, whatever problem they're having or challenge, something that they're wrestling with. Um, that's what I'll see first, mm -hmm. um, and then when I look out in the field, the energy field, I'll see um, their light, and that's where the soul purpose is, and um, where the answers lie is how the things that they can do to get to really be become and grow and uh, their divine self. Mm -hmm. So, so with each person, um, the reading is different. Um, because every you know with every person there's something else that's you know something different that's going on. So, you, can you are you kind of a bridge for yes. them to go from one place yes. to the other? 
but you know, yes, and then uh, just to kind of round this out, but there are, there are people who are already um, very much in harmony with their higher self and their, their life purposes about really actually being the light to support others mm -hmm. and uh, coming into resonance with their own light. Mm -hmm. So with those, <laughs> with those people, I just affirm, you know, they're looking like for something to say, to recognize who they are and what they're doing, that they're on the right track. Wow, very interesting. What do you see about a halo over me? <laughs> <laughs> no. You're the angel in disguise. <laughs> in disguise. Thank you so much for talking to us today, Rita. You're welcome.